So with every rental, we lift them up on the hoist before they start. Let our customer have a view of the whole machine before they go out so they know if there's any damages on it or not. And this is the voice that we left them on. So what the customer is going to do is he's going to have a good look at the, at the jet ski from top to bottom. We do point out to everyone that they come with, uh, they have duct tape on the front here. They come with rear mirrors. We take the mirrors off and the tape is just blocking the holes that they're mounted on. Uh, when I do get it right up to the top, I'm going to show you where the intake is. That's where your water feeds in. Um, it's important that you know where that is because if it gets anything blocking it there, going to affect the amount of power you get out of the boat, so you would have to get out of there and clean it out. So if you can look underneath here, this is your intake right here. Not sure if you can get much of a shot of it there or not. That's it right there. Okay, so if anything gets blocking that, what you have to do is shut the boat off, get off at the back, come around to the side, reach in, Grab everything that's in there, pull it out. Once you have it out, then you climb up from the bottom, or climb up from the back again. Um, while the boat is up here then, the customer goes around and basically inspects it for damages. If they notice any damages, we mark it on our, sh our sheet so when they come back after the rental, they know it was there before they left. If there's anything new, then they're responsible for anything new. Um, so I'm going to let it back down again now, and we'll go over the instructions on how to actually operate the boat. So, this is the tether, and we put it on our customer's life jacket for them, and it goes on the jacket through here like this. And then it slips under that black button like that. This is your emergency kill switch, so if you fall off the boat, your jacket's going to pull back on it and pull it out and shut off the engine. Now to start the engine, the green button up here is your start button. Your red button back here is your stop button. Your throttle is over on this side, it's a squeeze throttle, and your steering. Do not use any throttle while you're starting the boat, just hold the green button in until it starts. This here they call this your gear shift. All the way down like that is forward. Up like this is reverse. They call it reverse. It acts more like a brake. So it helps you to slow down. It really does not take you backwards very well. There is a small storage compartment right here. This is where most people put their license when they're out. There is a larger storage compartment up front here. This has your safety kit in it. Inside the kit there's a rope, whistle and a flashlight. And down here you have a fire extinguisher. Under the seat is your paddle. So there's a lever at the back here to lift the seat. And then your paddle is down on the left hand side there. Just right beside the engine. We're about a half a kilometer here from the lake. The river is an awake zone. So no more than three kilometers per hour in the river. Once you get out to the lake, then you can go as fast as what you're comfortable with. You want to come around the side here. We do have a digital speedometer here. So you can see how fast you are going. It's right there. That's your speedometer. So as you're going, you can see how fast you're going. This is your fuel gauge right here. We always send them out full of gas. Um, a tank of gas will normally last about four hours, but that will vary depending on water conditions and driving conditions. 
Um, if people are going out with passengers, um, and passengers should happen to fall off on them, what they want to do is shut the engine off, get the passenger to the back of the boat, and help them up from the back. Okay, never bring them up from the side. If you've tipped the boat over, it's upside down, everybody's in the water. First thing you want to do is make sure the engine is shut off, you get to the back of the boat, look for the instructions at the back that show you where to grab it and which way to flip it to bring it upright. Uh, once you have it upright again, the driver gets on first, helps the passengers up, starts it up and away you go. Things you have to watch for in the river here are swimmers, boaters, rocks, driftwood and seaweed. Uh, in the lake, the area that we recommend our customers go to is south of the mouth of the river, north of Main Street, at least a thousand feet from shore because that is the swim area and you're not supposed to be in there. And do not get out so far that you cannot see the lake anymore or see the, the shoreline anymore. Uh, we also recommend when you get out into the lake, just out of the river, turn around and look at the mouth of the river so you know what it looks like, you know what you're coming back to. And then at that point, we just ask people if they have any questions.